Despite what many news outlets would have you believe, with the release of the new Mac Mini, Apple haven't actually single-handedly created a new type of computing device. Mini PCs have been around for a long time, with the 13 cm square design used by this Nipugi model here being particularly popular in recent years. So popular, Apple appear to have copied it wholesale. The deficiencies of tech journalism aside, what is this little mini PC like? And can you upgrade it? Let's find out. The hero of our story today comes in a swish silver case, which is unfortunately plastic and not metal, but it feels reasonably well put together if a little on the light side. On the side we find the power switch and three USB-A ports. Round the back we find a round power socket, one more USB-A, two HDMI, a full-size Ethernet socket, a headphone jack and even a Kensington lock. Randomly, the last side contains a VGA socket, which could be useful if you want to connect it to an ancient projector or similar, but I'd have preferred a USB-C socket myself. On the inside, you'll find an Intel N95 CPU, which is a 12th gen Alder Lake chip launched in early 2023. There's also UHD 710 graphics and on this model, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. But how does it do compared to other machines? Well, running Cinebench, we get a result of 1,712. And to compare that, our 2017 Pentium based laptop only manages 1,075. An i3 all-in-one with an 4th gen processor manages a little better with 11,001. The 6th gen i5 found in our Surface Pro gets 1,496 but the Ryzen 5800X in this editing rig I'm currently using gives us 11,214. So the little mini PC isn't exactly a performance monster, but it will get most desktop tasks done. And it'll work even better with some upgrades. To install these, we need to take out this little screw next to the mysterious switch at the back of the machine. If you then slide that switch across, the top of the machine just pops off. We can now lift the lid on our mini PC to reveal a convenient bay for a two and a half inch SSD. But how do we get to the RAM? We just need to remove these three small screws and lift the tray out of the way. This will reveal the eight gig module that came with the computer. Just release the catches on the edge and you'll be able to take out the RAM and replace it with in our case, this 16 gig module. We now need to replace the drive tray and get the new SSD ready. We've got a one terabyte model from Silicon Power. Make sure that the SATA connection is nice and clear of the drive tray and then just slide the drive onto the connector. Our updates are now complete. We can pop the lid back on and we're ready to go. So this little chap here may not be the greatest option for the latest AAA gaming, but he is a solid desktop PC that can outperform mid-range PCs from a few years ago. So he's a pretty decent option. Plus he's nice and upgradable. Obviously, there are many other options out there. And if you want to go for a machine with some more gaming chops, then there are quite a few options from the likes of Mini's Forum, powered by 
AMD architecture, which should give you considerably better gaming credentials. They'll be cost a little bit more, but you should be able to run games pretty decently. In fact, a little guy like this with a decent Ryzen processor and a good amount of memory could do most of your computing needs. So would you go for a little mini PC like this? Or has the glamour and allure of Apple's new tiny Mac mini tempted you? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. It really does help. And if you'd like to see more from us, why not subscribe? This was a, a little mini PC from Nipugi. That was the Mammoth Tech Show. I've been Jeff and you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Or has the glamour and uh, Lenore? No, that's a washing liquid. Try again.